There is a feature at the top that says include the parent rules. So in case if you have any rule on that category and this category that you have chosen is a subnode of that, automatically affect the other. So in case you would like to not use that, you can just clear that check mark. There is also include subcategories. Either you are inheriting from the parent or you are giving the inheritance to your children in regard to the category subnodes. As you see, I select one of them, it brings all the subcategories. So the top portion, if I select one of these nodes, it brings all the parents. The bottom portion, it brings all the children. If you use both, it actually picks it from the point that you select, brings all the parents and all the children. I click OK now. That's the second policy. Another policy that may be of interest is category policy rules. So let's say you chose those categories. This is pretty important and the most popular one even in a private sector. So let's say I'm adding a category that I've chosen and out of all those things that I've enabled, these categories are being shown. Let's pick and choose a category of my choice and here, the first thing you could do, you could say, what can I do in regard to buying something? Should I allow people to buy from any vendor? Should I allow only the vendors that are preferred or that are approved vendors or both? Or should I not allow any vendor that is not a member of this category? Additional option within Dynamics AX is called Questioner. Questioner is a set of question and an answer that, of course, you can associate points or numerical value to it. And you can actually submit that and associate it prior to asking somebody to buy something. You have to have them to answer certain questions. And the beauty of it is that you can get the results of those questionnaire and analyze it in a sort of a business analyst. And of course, sales and marketing benefit a lot from it. Based on those results, they can create campaigns or business decisions can be set. Say whether or not you should use that vendor that was not preferred vendor to be preferred now because they give you a special rate. So the question is a very important piece that you can take advantage of. Of course, that is a separate training on its own. There's a concept of invoice validation. The concept of it is you have a purchase order and you have an invoice. You issue a purchase order for your vendor and the vendor sends you an invoice. Now, if there are any discrepancies between a purchase order and a vendor invoice, then it will flag. What type of a validation would you like to use? You can check the total, the charges, the line. There are 